Well, we knew this day was going to come. This is our final Brooks Wednesday, and we are sad, but we are happy as well because we know how much he's going to mean to somebody. And he's here, of course, with his razor, Holly. And how are you doing today? <laughs> we try not to think about it, so we're doing great. That's excellent. <laughs> And we have learned when we went through this with Camden, we were devastated when she left. But then when we saw what she learned further in New York and what she, how she was paired with the perfect person and how much she has meant to him, it, is, it gives you this like incredible feeling of joy, right? It does. That moment you see the dog that you raised from a little puppy, full grown, working with somebody, providing a service, being there for them, being a lifeline for them, it's incredible. It really is. And we need to emphasize that this is free to yes. the veteran or first responder. It is a $50,000 dog, basically. $50,000 and about two years of work. And right. A lot of people pitching in and helping out. So, yeah, they're very special animals. It's amazing. So, basically, he has finished what we call his undergraduate yes. work. And now he's going <laughs> up to Long Island to get his graduate degree. So, what is he going to be doing? Well, they're going to hone in on his PTSD skills. They'll teach him more retrieving skills, more um, things he can do out in the world with his veteran. And then when they get matched, they'll really work on honing those in and making sure that they're perfect together. Right, little man? Yes. Because they're finding really, especially with PTSD, that these dogs are remarkably helpful. Yes. Because they can help somebody who's maybe having a nightmare. Tell us some of the skills he'll be learning that can so help. So nightmare interruption is a big one. Um, they do an alert to wake them up. They can pull the covers off. They also help with someone that might need a standing way to stand, going downstairs, stabilizing them. They can retrieve items for them. They can push and open doors for them. They give comfort. They have my favorite is the rest command where they just rest their little head on your lap for a while and calm you down. Right, little guy? they can be a barrier for you and other people coming up. And that's a really nice thing that they can do a bath so that they're looking behind you and you can guide, guide by whether their tail's up, whether they're happy, you know, you can feel more secure and safe. You don't have to keep looking over your shoulder. Right. So many skills. And people need to know too that they do get to be dogs because we want to emphasize that too. We're, you know, oh, yes. people say, oh, the poor dog used <laughs> oh, to work all the time. Actually, they a lot of the times they enjoy what they're doing, they first do. of all. He loves, he loves training. It's he loves training. Thing. He loves, mm -hmm. it's playtime to him when the vest comes out and the tree pouch goes on. It's like tail wagging, time to go. He's so excited. Because it's all positive reinforcement. It is, yeah. So, and I, even, even up at America's Vet Dogs, they have free time, free run, where they get to play with the other puppies. And even after they graduate and go to their person, it is stress that they are still dogs, that they need to have playtime, that they need to have time to decompress and unwind. And that bond that they form with their veteran or first responder is something really special. I mean, we all bond with our dogs. That bond is even something on another level. Yes, because they are together all the time. All the time. All and, the time. And I think the dogs realize yes. how important they are to this person. They do. I think they catch that in a couple of days. Like, we've seen the video of them when they meet their first person, and within a couple of days, it's like this incredible... I mean, he's bonded with Eric and I right now. In two weeks, he'll be bonded with his new person. With his They're new just, person, yeah. are so adaptable. They are. They're so loving. And, of course, he is named after Brooks Robinson. He got to meet Brooks Robinson. <laughs> yeah. He's been to Oriole Park at Camden Yards. He has met the Oriole Bird. He's all about Baltimore. He is. So he's going to be a Baltimore dog no matter where he ends up. Yes. Across the country. Yes. But His we're roots hoping are here. He'll come back to Baltimore. Yeah, we're hoping so too. We're hoping so too. <laughs> and of course, we'll continue to have updates from from Brooks and the training he's doing in New York, right? Yes. Yep. America's Vet Dogs will send down some little updates on his training, and we'll get to meet his trainer up there. Hopefully, Eric and I will get a Zoom call with her, and so we won't uh, we won't miss him too much. Oh, <laughs> that is just fantastic. And what's what's next for you? What's next for you? Or um, do you see more dogs in your future? Oh, absolutely. That you'll be I with? will do this. Come here, good boy. I will do this until I can't do it anymore. This Aww. is like the best thing. Yeah. Tell us a little more about what it means for you and anybody else out there who might be thinking about wanting to be a puppy raiser. Because oh. there is a lot of time and commitment. It is. I mean, he, he is with me pretty much 24-7. I mean, he's never, he has to be left alone every now and then. But for us, he's, he goes everywhere with us. He gets all the experiences that a traditional service dog would get. And he gets to enjoy that. And so do we. 
We like to be able to take him out. We like to be able to do things with him. We like to teach him. We like to watch his little brain work. Yeah. When he catches on to something, it's it's fantastic. Yeah. So and then, it is a commitment. It is. Totally worth it, though. Yeah. And then <laughs> seeing all the work that you put in yes. come to fruition. Oh, yeah. Magical. <laughs> that is amazing. It really we is. wish you all the luck, and we can't wait to see how he progresses and, and, and who he ends up paired with. It's wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining our family, Thank Holly. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Brooks, we love you. We'll miss you. <laughs>